Welcome class of 2024. My name is Dr. Pratt and I will be teaching you all things anatomy, which include embryology, histology, and the ever popular gross anatomy. I am very much looking forward to working with you. Welcome aboard. OUWB class of 2024. We are excited to welcome your class to the larger OUWB community as you begin your medical education journey. For those of you whom I haven't had an opportunity to meet with yet, I am Jeremy Jones, Associate Director for Financial Services. I am personally looking forward to meeting with you, getting to know you better, and helping you as you develop your financial wellness skills during your time at OUWB. Best wishes in the months and years ahead. Hello and welcome class of 2024. My name is Tony Legrand. I'm the Administrative Coordinator for Student Affairs. I'd like to welcome you all to OUWB I hope you're having an amazing experience so far, and I look forward to meeting you soon. Hey class of 2024, this is Jennifer, Director of Academic Success. I want to welcome you to OUWB. Hi, I'm Nick McMillan. I'm an M2 at OUWB. Now, uh, medical school can be both one of the most challenging yet meaningful times in your life. So if you play your cards right, you can have a great time overall. Prepare for the wild ride that is med school at OUWB School of Medicine. Hello everyone, welcome to OUWB. My name is Doug Gould, I'm Professor and Chair of Foundational Medical Studies and I'm really excited to get to know you this year. Hello class of 2024, my name is Dr. Karen Reed Hendon, Director of Diversity and Inclusion for OUWB. Very excited to be welcoming all of you to our campus. I look forward to working with each and every one of you and I cannot wait to meet you. Dear incoming medical school class of 2024, Congratulations and welcome. I'm so excited to get to work with and learn alongside you. In my nearly 40 years as a primary care doctor, I have found immense meaning and satisfaction in caring for patients and their families. There's always so much more to learn and I'm looking forward to being part of this next phase of your training. Welcome class of 2024. My name is Janae Ken and I'm the OUWB social worker. I'm so excited that you guys are here and I cannot wait to meet you all. Good luck with your first semester of classes and I will see you soon. Welcome class of 2024 to OUWB. We're so happy to have you here. Hello class of 2024. This is Dr. Gametru. I teach anatomy and embryology and also co-direct AFCP course. Let me use this opportunity to welcome you all to OUWB. Hi everybody, my name is Neetu Sharma. I'm one of the nephrologists in our private practice and I joined PRISM program about a year ago. I have a wonderful group of students under me and uh, uh, it's been a great journey to be part of this program. It has helped me personally um, to develop my leadership skills and my communication skills. Um, it gives me immense amount of satisfaction uh, to help, help these students. Um, through this uh, professional development uh, journey and uh, I think you will also enjoy this program a lot. Um, you will make uh, great uh, friends and colleagues um, who are here to help you and uh, we wish you luck and we uh, welcome you to this uh, community of uh, PRISM Group. Welcome class of 2024 to OUWB. We're excited to have you, and we're looking forward to getting to know you over these next few years. Hey class of 2024, Katie from Admissions. Just wanna welcome you to OUWB. We can't wait to see what you guys accomplish in the next four years. Hi class of 2024, and welcome to OUWB. We're so proud of all the hard work you've put in to get here, and we can't wait to meet you all and welcome you into our family. Hi class of 2024, looking forward to meeting you all on the first day of class, first on histology and anatomy. So we'll see you soon and congratulations and welcome to OUWB. Hello new M1 class, welcome, welcome to OUWB. Uh, my name is Dr. Tracy Taylor. I am so excited to teach you microbiology. I can't wait to meet you um, and welcome, welcome again. Class of 2024, you are outstanding. You're unique. You are wonderful and brilliant and we welcome you to OUWB. Dear class of 2024, welcome to OUWB School of Medicine. I am looking forward to working with you all in the anatomy course. Welcome class of 2024. How excited you have joined the OUWB family. I cannot wait to meet you in person on campus. 
I wish you all the best for a very successful academic year at OUWB. It's been a pleasure getting to know you throughout the admissions process. I look forward to seeing the positive impact that you have on OUWB and the communities that we serve. A very warm welcome from all of us in the admissions and financial aid offices. Greetings class of 2024. Under normal circumstances, I would be with you in person in a ballroom of 300 plus people. However, after a week of virtual sessions, you already know that orientation week will not conclude with the interactive white coat ceremony of years past. But that's okay. We figured out how to celebrate virtually. Earlier this week, I shared some of my medical journey with you. I told you that it led to a career of more than 40 years in diagnostic radiology and molecular imaging at Beaumont Health. There were 275 in my class, and we had no white coat ceremony. Sound familiar? The white coat ceremony is a rite of passage. It is an event that welcomes students to the medical profession. It promotes the value of humanism as the core of health care. It emphasizes the compassion and scientific excellence that make up the practice of medicine. The code itself holds much significance. It is associated with science, a symbol that the medical profession is based on scientific inquiry. The white coat started out as a simple covering worn by scientists in the late 1880s to protect their skin and clothing from substances they were working on in their labs. In the 19th century, physicians began wearing the coats to distinguish themselves as medical professionals who had academic credentials. It symbolized the new belief that physicians are scientists. And it symbolized that medicine is based on sound scientific principles and research. The white coat is the uniform of medicine, and by wearing this uniform, you are accepting a new level of responsibility. I've worn many white coats over the decades, and so will you. But that first one will hold a special place in your memory. I have never forgotten how I felt putting it on for the first time. I guarantee neither will you. So circle the date of August 13th, 2021, the day you will receive your first white coat at a ceremony that will include classmates, family, and friends. This year, in place of your white coats, all of you received a lapel pin from us featuring the Gold Foundation's logo, surrounded by the words, Keeping Healthcare Human. The logo is a Mobius loop. It symbolizes the continuous bond of trust, respect, and communication that connects healthcare professionals with their patients when humanism is at the core of medical practice. In 1988, the world-famous pediatric neurologist, Dr. Arnold Gold, with his wife and colleague at the College of Physicians and Surgeons at Columbia University, began the foundation to preserve the tradition of the caring physician. They were concerned that physicians were shifting their focus from caring for the whole patient as advancements in technology and scientific discoveries flourished. Today, the Gold Foundation remains committed to humanism in healthcare through a wide range of programming and scholarship opportunities available to medical students, health systems, companies, and individual clinicians. Please wear your Gold Foundation pins throughout the year as a reminder of your commitment to treat patients with dignity and respect. Over the last four months, I've been thinking of the common expression, every cloud has a silver lining. It means I want to believe in the hopeful side of an otherwise gloomy circumstance. I've been looking for the silver lining inside this cloud of a pandemic, and to my delight, I have indeed found it. It is evident in the accomplishments and in the actions of those who surround me at OUWV. This week is one of them. We may have welcomed you behind face coverings, but did you see the smile in our eyes? Did you hear the enthusiasm in our muffled voices? I sure hope you did. We are thrilled to have you here. You are here for a reason because we saw something special in each one of you. You had a combination of qualities that indicated you were a fit for OUWB culture. Be assured that we have every confidence in your abilities. The silver lining is also the pride I take in the faculty, staff, and leaders of this school who have worked tirelessly on delivering a curriculum you deserve. They have debated and discussed multiple scenarios to provide you 
and enriching academic experience in a safe learning environment. Their dedication to this task has surpassed my expectations. The silver lining is the compassion of the students who continue to serve the community in any way they can. Their desire to inspire hope in others who struggle with health disparities and poverty proves that our students will be culturally aware physicians of the future. The silver lining is most certainly the unified determination of our school to educate and realize a diverse and inclusive community. In recent weeks, with guidance from our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Council, we have strengthened our commitment to eradicating social injustice. We pledge to work on it daily together and are developing programming and sharing resources to achieve our goals. We celebrate the LGBTQ plus community at OUWB with our Kaleidoscope Project, embracing and promoting inclusivity from the classroom to the patient care. And the truly inspiring part, this project began as a student-led initiative. More than ever, OUWB physicians are using their expertise on the front line of the COVID-19 healthcare crisis, providing hope to their patients by practicing what they learned at our medical school. I share with you how I know this to be true. In Seattle, Dr. Jay Brombat, a 2017 OUWB alum from Bad Axe, Michigan, is one example. Jay is an internal medicine resident at the University of Washington affiliated hospitals. This spring, he was a member of the intensive care unit where on a daily basis, he explained to COVID-19 patients their goals of care. While evaluating an 80 year old woman who had worsening clinical status, he explained intubation versus resuscitation and care in the ICU versus staying in the acute care services. Jay was asked by his healthcare colleagues why he spent so much time in the room with the patient discussing intubation and resuscitation. Jay's response was that we must hold on to humanity while we still can. His sensitivity to the values and the cultural and ethnic backgrounds of others, the patient was Vietnamese, and he communicated with her through a phone-based translator, demonstrates his humanistic approach to medicine. It is his OUWB training that led him to educate his patient with competence and compassion using excellent communication skills. It ultimately led his patient and her husband to decide that she would not be transferred to the ICU. Dr. Bob Bat is a fine internal medicine physician. He is also a member of the Gold Humanism Honor Society. You will be wearing your gold foundation pins all year as a reminder to keep the humanism in healthcare. While attending OUWB, you will have the opportunity to be nominated by your peers for membership in the Gold Humanism Honor Society. As you do so, reflect on this. Membership is the gold standard by which medical professionals are measured for their compassion. Members are recognized leaders in medicine and role models in the highest level of patient care. Members demonstrate integrity, excellence in clinical expertise, collaboration and compassion, altruism, respect and resilience, empathy and service, the sharing of one's talent, time and resources with those in need. Our chapter signifies to the medical community that OUWB places a high value on interpersonal skills. Class of 2024, the most important element of today's celebration is the Hippocratic Oath. It is your public acknowledgement of the responsibilities of the medical profession. The Physician's Oath was adopted by the General Assembly of the World Medical Association at Geneva in 1948. The next time you recite the oath, you will be at graduation. On that day, it will be your class oath of 2024. You will write your own oath together with the guidance of your medical humanities and clinical bioethics professors. And now, let's begin the physician's pledge to honor the humanitarian goals of medicine. At the time of being admitted as a member of the medical profession, I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, disease or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, 
social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity in accordance with good medical practice. I will foster the honor and noble traditions of the medical profession. I will give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of health care. I will attend to my own health, well-being, and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. The opportunity to attend medical school is a privilege. It obligates you to make the most of your time here. Know that your professors, deans, and staff will be here to support you. We will encourage you to persevere even on the toughest days. We will listen and offer advice. We will expect you to work hard because you will be better for it. Remember that we chose you above all others to be here. Welcome to the family. I look forward to the day where we can meet at the student lounge for a friendly game of pool and a chat. Have a relaxing weekend because on Monday, you're about to embark on a medical journey like no other. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to this special occasion, the virtual gathering that for now is a substitute for the white coat ceremony. The white coat ceremony is a rite of passage for first year medical students. And it's a tradition that evokes the mission that's at the heart of the journey to becoming a physician dedicated to healing and serving. There can be no underestimating the significance and symbolism of this first step that you're now taking into the calling of healthcare. Some of you have mentors, maybe family members, in the medical profession. For others, you have a treasured personal physician. Regardless of what you've seen and heard, the path that you're now on will be both more difficult and perhaps more challenging, but ultimately it will be far more rewarding than any other path you can possibly imagine. When I think about where you're at today and what is ahead of you, it brings back many fond memories of my own days at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Of course, we never had this wonderful tradition of a white coat ceremony way back in the Middle Ages. But those were the days that for me, anything seemed possible. Each day brought a new and oftentimes unexpected challenge, but also an opportunity. And it was just so thrilling to realize that one day I may get the opportunity to make a significant impact on someone else's life an impact that would truly make a real difference. Today, as you are entering medical school, at a time when your service, your talent, and your humanity are needed more than ever before. You know, every country in the world has been ravaged by the COVID-19 pandemic, and you stand between that dreadful virus and a healthy recovery. You represent what must be upheld in these profoundly challenging times. You represent the need to make discoveries, to seek the truth, and to base decisions on a scientific understanding of the world, to determine the pathophysiology of disease, and to seek cures. You represent the integrity, the highest ethical standards, and the selflessness that's at the heart of the altruistic endeavor to improve the health and the longevity of the human race. You represent the passion that's passed from generation to generation that recommits to what is truly important. As physicians, we must care for one another 
and for all of those who cannot care for themselves. We must take it upon ourselves to make this entire world a better place. So as you enter Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine, approach each day with the OUWB values in your mind and your heart. Be compassionate and serve with dignity and empathy in all your endeavors. Seek partnerships, collaboration, and teamwork. Be an innovator and seek answers. Conduct yourself honestly and ethically, and always seek excellence in your professional and personal life. If I were to offer advice to you, it would be simple and straightforward. Find joy in what you do and in who you are. You will give so much of yourselves to your profession. Make sure you have a little something left for yourself. Take the time to foster your own wellness and happiness too. Welcome to OUWB. We are just so very proud of all of you and we know you will carry on in the proud OUWB tradition. And I cannot wait to follow your wonderful successes. Welcome to our special celebration. I'm Dr. Sandra LeBlanc, the OUWB Associate Dean for Student Affairs, and I am honored to be a part of this special moment with our class of 2024, their families and friends. Although we cannot be together today for our traditional OUWB event, I look forward to planning an extraordinary white coat ceremony and fall family weekend for you and your families to celebrate together with us in August of 2021. Despite our distance from each other and the difficulties we may all be facing in the world, I do want to spend a moment celebrating our students as I share with you today the tradition of introducing our incoming class in a very special way. Today, class of 2024, we acknowledge who you are, where you are from, and what you have done as what you bring to the class of 2024 will determine where you as an individual and we as the OUWB community will go in the future. You are all remarkable individuals who have worked hard to earn your respective place in the OUWB class of 2024. No one deserves to be here more than you. As you spend the next four years with your classmates, I hope that you will remember these important details that define your collective life journey that brought you to medical school. While you listen, enjoy our photo tribute to our new medical students of OUWB. You, the class of 2024, are an amazing group. You are well-traveled, having visited over 100 countries, including Armenia, Barbados, Cambodia, Dubai, Estonia, France, Greece, Haiti, Iceland, Japan, Kuwait, Luxembourg, Morocco, Nicaragua, Oman, the Philippines, Qatar, Russia, St. Lucia, Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, Vietnam, Wales, Yemen, and Zambia. You have completed studies at over 40 different undergraduate institutions and over the past four years, you've been cheering with mascots such as anteaters, badgers, bears, bearcats, Bengals, Britons, Bruins, buffalo, bulls, chargers, Chippewas, commodores, cougars, dragons, ducks, eagles, elephants, fighting Irish, flying Dutchmen, gales, gauchos, goats, golden grizzlies, gold miners, hawkeyes, hokies, Lakers, Leopards, Lumberjacks, Mustangs, Panthers, Pioneers, Polar Bears, Raiders, Rams, Ramblers, Redbirds, Rockets, Sage Hens, Sea Wolves, Spartans, Tar Heels, Terrapins, Thunderbirds, Tigers, Titans, Trees, Tritons, Warriors, Wildcats, Wolves, Wolverines, and Yellow Jackets. Some interesting tidbits that you shared with us. The class of 2024, like many others that have come before, is filled with coffee fanatics. 
10 members of the class of 2024 are Oakland University graduates. Welcome back, Grizzlies. The entertainers of the group are singers, dancers, magicians. We have a stand-up comedian, a palm reader, and a former trapeze artist. Someone in this class ate two whole pizzas in five minutes and lived to tell about it. They won't do it again, so don't ask. We found out when you like something, you will not quit until you have climbed all 32 mountains in Acadia National Park, have intentionally eaten spicy food until it made you cry, made it to third degree black belt, solved the Rubik's Cube, grown and donated your hair four times, traveled to all 50 states and sampled all 80 flavors at the ice cream shop. For those of you who are curious, Tiramisu ice cream was the favorite. You stare danger in the face by cage diving with Galapagos sharks, climbing an active volcano, or jumping out of a plane at 15,000 feet. We look forward to this level of commitment from all of you as medical students and continuing throughout your life journey as OUWB trained physicians. Your hobbies are varied and showcase your talents and interests that make you unique. You love music. When you're not studying, you enjoy listening to music and playing musical instruments. We have students in this class who can play the clarinet, drums, guitar, piano, saxophone, ukulele, and violin. Some of you like to dance to music, and although you practice your individual variety of styles, such as ballet, breakdancing, Latin ballroom, and tap, you have learned the technical skills and mastered the dedication it takes to be a dancer. Some of you like to sing, and one of you can beatbox. OUWB will greatly benefit from all of your talents through our student-led shows and musical groups who frequently participate in our OUWB events. And perhaps you will have a chance to sing at an American League baseball game. If you're going to dream, dream big OUWB, let's repeat history. Athletes tend to make their way into medical schools across the country, and OUWB is no exception. We have members of the class of 2024 who have played team sports such as basketball, bowling, football, ice hockey, lacrosse, soccer, tennis, and ultimate frisbee. You know your way around a net playing volleyball, badminton, and ping pong, or hitting your target with a bow and arrow. For those of you who told us you enjoy being close to the water, we hope you take some time to explore our many lakes for boating, swimming, kayaking, water skiing, wakeboarding, or just relaxing at the shore. Some of you like the challenge and camaraderie of beach volleyball, while others enjoy the serenity of fishing. We have students with surfing experience, as well as swimming in deep waters. One of our incoming students earned a scuba license at the age of 12, while another had the opportunity to swim in beautiful waters with the sea turtles of Hawaii. Outdoor activities such as biking, hiking, and running are shared passion for many members of the class of 2024. We hope that you find your active peace along the many trails around Michigan. For some of you, losing yourself on the greens in a round of golf is heaven, while others love the chill of the air when you are snowboarding or ice skating. To maintain personal fitness, some of you exercise your being with bar, yoga, jump roping, weightlifting, boxing, and rock climbing. And to connect with something greater than yourself, some of you use your fascination with astronomy to search the heavens while others connect with the earth through camping, gardening, landscaping, or simply lounging outside in a hammock. There is an art and science to creating food, which some of you indulge in as you explore your craft of cooking or baking through new recipes. Others of you enjoy the delights of others' culinary skills as you love to try new foods from other cultures, visiting new restaurants, or just spending time sipping your favorite beverages at coffee shops. The artists among you enjoy crafts, nail art, painting, photography, and videography. Other activities that you enjoy include watching your favorite shows like SpongeBob and anime, 
perfecting your card tricks, day trading, reading, interior design, and woodworking. During a time in our history when physical distancing is a necessity, the importance that you have placed in staying connected to family and friends for emotional support is incredibly important. Many of you embrace your spirituality, meditate, stay connected to your church, or listen to podcasts that keep you grounded and connected to your center. Many of you take a pause from stress by playing with your family pets. Dogs and cats were the top rated de-stressors for the class of 2024. You also believe in the power of changing the world by giving of yourselves to others through the donation of your time and work to causes both here in the United States and all over the world. Class of 2024, you have spent close to 130,000 hours providing service to your local community, school, and abroad. Here are some of the stories of service that you shared with us. Volunteering at Centro Romero, a primarily Spanish-speaking community-based organization that helps the refugee and immigrant populations of Chicago. Being a bilingual volunteer in the domestic violence program, I helped organize female-led support groups and workshops for survivors and assisted in the translation of legal documents and abuse reports. I also took part in the organization of after-school programs for children ages 3 to 12. This experience allowed me to have a positive impact in the lives and health of women in my greater community and has taught me to attentively listen and acknowledge individuals' emotions and experiences in order to support them successfully. While I volunteered at various places, including the Richmond Prison, a soup kitchen, a free clinic, as well as for hospice care, I enjoyed my time volunteering at the Virginia Home the most. The Virginia Home is a residential home for individuals who suffer from physical disabilities. A lot of the residents do not have family members who drop by every week. I was able to provide the residents with a listening ear to their day and emotional support. One night, I spent five hours with a resident and connected extremely deeply with their struggles and their life story. The residents there led me to the conclusion that true happiness comes from getting out of myself and focusing on serving and helping others. My favorite service project was the summer I spent as a live-in volunteer at a LaRarche community through Notre Dame's Summer Service Learning Program. Larche communities are homes in which adults both with and without intellectual disabilities live and work together. This was my favorite service project because it taught me that simply being with others and engaging with them can be a powerful form of service. Through living in the community, I was able to position myself side by side with a vulnerable population, which allowed me to better understand, serve, and advocate for them. I really enjoyed serving the underserved individuals of Santa Barbara through my participation in Doctors Without Walls, where each week we took backpacks full of medical supplies to the homeless in the parks who weren't able to visit a clinic or hospital to seek medical help. It taught me that as medical professionals, we need to widen our approach in reaching those who are often ignored by society on the whole, yet are in dire need of medical help. My favorite service project involved organizing free vision screenings and science experiments for refugee children in my community. We brought in someone named Dr. Nitro to serve liquid nitrogen ice cream to the children and explain the science behind it. We also set children up with free eyeglasses if they had vision impairments. This project was my favorite because I was able to create a fun environment to learn and correct healthcare issues. Watching the children smile and ponder on their curiosities motivated me to continue working with this population. My favorite service project is volunteering at Crescent Clinic OC. This is a free clinic that serves the local community of Anaheim. It was here that I first learned what medicine was truly about. I observed doctors interviewing patients not only for their physical illnesses and symptoms, but also their social life and how that could affect their health. 
I saw both the desperation of patients who needed care, as well as those who were grateful to have received treatment. This experience was truly humbling. I learned to speak to patients in a compassionate manner, to listen to their concerns, and to do everything in my ability to help address their needs. I grew not only in my knowledge of medicine, but also in my ability to become a leader. The skills that I have learned here are invaluable. The experience played a tremendous role in my decision to pursue medicine and also to one day continue to give back to the underserved community. Simply put, this project is meaningful to me because it allowed me to mature and left me wanting to learn more about the humanistic side of medicine and to do more for the underserved community. My most memorable service opportunity was my involvement as a summer camp counselor for Camp Kesem, a free camp organized for children whose parents have been affected by cancer. Through working with the children, I observed the immeasurable impact we can have as leaders for children, while also learning more about ourselves from the campers, including conflict resolution, teamwork, creativity, and overall optimism. My favorite service opportunity has been volunteering for the Trevor Project, the nation's leading crisis intervention organization for LGBTQ youth. I love the Trevor Project's emphasis on intersectionality. It acknowledges the many identities each person holds and provides empathetic support accordingly. It has been amazing to be a part of this organization and I've learned an immense amount. Volunteering in Nicaragua was by far my favorite service project. The entire trip was themed around offering medical aid to a small community via avenues that local community leaders deemed to be most beneficial. We spent a month working on some unexpected projects. We built a community garden to improve food access, created and relocated clay stoves to reduce the incidence of respiratory illnesses, and aided with staffing and translation in a free local clinic. Hands-on work alongside community members was incredibly rewarding, and some of the friendships I made in that community continue to this day. Volunteering at Surgery on Sunday, which is a nonprofit outpatient surgical service located in Lexington, Kentucky, and was created to assist low socioeconomic individuals who are in need of surgery, but would otherwise go without if this organization didn't exist. Local healthcare professionals were donating their time and energy once a month to provide care to individuals who would otherwise go without. This was my favorite project because I was able to see and be a part of a team that was leading to better health outcomes on the individual family and community levels. I was able to see the impact of this organization on the individuals themselves but I was also able to see that these individuals typically had others who were dependent on them. And as a result, both the individuals and their families were benefiting from this service. And by extension, so too was the community. There are too many wonderful stories to share today, but I can assure you they all have one common theme, the passion for service to others and wanting to make a difference. As a new member of our OUWB community, we invite you to join us in our service to our local communities here in Southeast Michigan, as those in need do not stop needing during a pandemic. As medical professionals in training, you have a unique opportunity to learn how to make a difference as we physically distance while remaining socially connected. Continue with your compassionate care for others including your new medical school classmates as you grow as a medical school community. Thank you, Class of 2024, for sharing with us your stories of dedication and hard work. You have a special place in history as you begin your medical school training today. We look forward to the next four years of training with you. Be safe and be well.